Hey everyone, Cece here once again for another process video. Today I'm going to do an abstract painting and I'm working on a Canson artboard that had a previous project underneath so I just gave it a coat of gesso and right now I'm adding some texture with coarse pumice gel and a little bit of gesso to make sure that it was tacked down properly because it looked a little bit dry. This piece what you're seeing right now is me mixing gray with airbrush medium because I wanted a wash of color, um, but I did want to mix it with water. Um, I wanted something neutral to start off with, but not white. So that was my starting point. And then I knew I wanted to be able to blend the colors without seeing the my brush strokes. And so, I knew it was going to be difficult to do with acrylic paint because it, it just dries so very fast. So I'm trying to add the colors wet on wet and I'm still not able to uh, blend the colors properly. And that started the whole frustration with this project. You're going to see at the end I'm going to have a totally different uh, project than what I started with. But I, I guess, I don't know. I. I wanted to do things I didn't quite know how to do them, but I thought I did. <laughs> so this turned out to be a very big and long and exhaustive experiment. Uh, don't get attached to what you're seeing right now because it's not going to be there at the end. <laughs> but while I'm doing this, um, I want to talk to you about something that I heard tonight actually just before. Uh, editing this video I was on a channel by a gentleman called Clark Danger and he was talking about this old man that he had met on a beach uh, actually not on a beach while well, he was farming in Hawaii I believe and this man was uh, at one point in his life had a lot of hardships and he was telling a story to this woman whom he had never met and then at the end of the story the woman looked at him and said what if this was a gift what if what's happening to you right now is a gift? And then she said, what a wonderful opportunity for personal growth. And it made me realize that that was exactly what I went through yesterday and the day before while I was doing this painting because I was going, I'm having a hard time with lots of deadlines right now and I'm trying to make everything happen at the same time. And in the process, I forgot to breathe. And then all of a sudden it's like, you know, the problems are bigger or whatever you have to do gets bigger by your own will. <laughs> and I was kind of whining because I was having also some computer issues Anyways, it was just, you know how things sometimes accumulate really, really fast and then you feel sorry for yourself and you go, oh, this is never going to work. And it made me realize that when I heard this yesterday and the day before, what I went through was exactly that. It was just an opportunity for personal growth or artistic growth, if you want to call it. Uh, the way I see it, if you're growing as an artist, you're also growing as a person. Uh, the two are kind of like mixed together but anyway so um yeah i'm gonna let you watch me fumble again <laughs> um yeah Yeah, stop the press. <laughs> I was about to pass the brush again on those uh, streaks or drips. And yeah, it's time to let it go. So this is the next morning. As you can see, I have covered the whole thing with another coat of gesso mixed in with a little bit of gray. And now I'm using a retarder medium. Um, I'm not sure. It didn't really work. I just have to tell you right off the bat, it didn't really work. Uh, I followed the directions in the back and the one that I'm using had no binding agent in it. So I don't know if this had to do, uh, if it had something to do with the fact that I'm not really able to blend properly. I mean, it was better than the previous day. 
but not quite. Um, I'm not sure if it's because I was using two different brands of, uh, I was using Liquitex, more, most of them were Liquitex and Golden Paint, and the Retarder Medium is by a Canadian brand called Stevenson, which I've never heard of. But anyway, um, so I don't know if, if it had something to do with it. I mean, I was sort of being able to blend, but not to a degree where they were talking about But anyways, I may do with um, what was happening and um, I stuck with it. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm not sure if you're seeing what's going on here. I wanted to add a bit of black to the top of the canvas and it turned out to be a tornado. So I just went with it. This is at this point, I thought I'm just going to go with the flow. A tornado wants to be born on this painting. Let's just go with it. It kind of illustrated the gloomy mood I was in, but it turned out to be a positive thing because I quite enjoy the way it looks right now <laughs> but of course tornadoes of course a cityscape is going to appear I, I can't avoid it that's just the way I roll
and it's quite interesting to see that as soon as I take the catalyst tool in my hands and I try to do some mark makings because I wasn't going for a cityscape at first I, I just wanted to have some semblance of trees remember this is abstract so it's supposed to just give you an illusion of something but as soon as I have a catalyst in my hand it's kind of inevitable a cityscape just is boring so that's the secret the catalyst is the commander of cityscapes <laughs> so i'm just about ready to wrap this up just adding a few more colors and a little bit of adjustments here and there and that's it so i hope that you've enjoyed this my uh, fumbling experience i certainly learned a lot of things about myself about my art and that's the way it should be thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so i thank you so much for watching and i will see you later bye